What's up everybody? Griffin here, the owner of your preferred pest control company in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, as I mentioned, I'm the owner of Preferred Pest Management. We're located in the Rollett, Texas area uh, specifically, but we service uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, specifically East and North Dallas, you know, Rollett, Rockwall, Plano, uh, Saxe, Murphy, Frisco, you know, all that good stuff essentially. Um, and in today's video, continuing our ongoing series for you guys of where I break down our specific blog posts. Uh, we came out with a blog post this past week. Uh, we come out with multiple blogs a week, so I don't necessarily do a video for every single blog that we post. Um, I'll try to remember to post a link down to our blog page specifically in the description box for you guys. But today's video specifically, you know, we're getting into the heart of mosquito season. I'm noticing even in my own yard, that mosquitoes are very, you know, heavy. They're very prevalent right now, so they're coming out like crazy compared to last year. So I thought it'd be a good time to, you know, create another um, just blog post, you know, giving you guys the facts and different kinds of solutions, both DIY as well as, you know, what we can do for you guys as well. Um, and, you know, let's get right into it. So, of course, you have your introduction for today where we're talking about mosquitoes are obviously a very, very major nuisance in the Dallas, Texas area. If you've lived here longer than one summer, you probably know that by now. But some people, believe it or not, don't know the health concerns that are involved. So the most common health concerns that we have in the DFW Metroplex is, you know, West Nile virus and Zika virus. Now, not every year is really, you know, horrible when it comes to those health concerns, but, you know, it's always better safe than sorry to try to keep them out of your yard, um, at least the most that you can, of course. So, how can you get rid of mosquitoes or, you know, at least control them to a large degree in your home? So, one thing, uh, a couple things that you can do is empty your bird baths, at least weekly, at the minimum. I personally tell my customers that I know, you know, what they're for, obviously, but, um, you know, just look at it as a decoration more than anything. Um, and if you don't even care about your bird bats, just get rid of them. I find a lot of people buy these for whatever reason, and then they literally just don't even care about them. So if you're not even using them, just get rid of them. But at the minimum, keep them clean and keep them cleaned out in terms of no water in those bird baths, as well as, you know, of course, gutters, um, anything that can, can, can collect water, you know, this even includes spare tires, you know, at the bottom of the tire, water can get inside there. Anything that can, uh, you know, collect water, it doesn't take very much water at all to collect just enough for mosquito larva to develop. Actually, believe it or not, the smaller amount of water, it, it tends to be better for um, the mosquito, you know, in terms of reproduction. So any areas that can, you know, contain and collect water, uh, keep those either where they need to be to where they're not collecting water, get rid of them, or, you know, manually go out there and dump it out. And then, of course, we have the repellents that, you know, you can spray on your clothes, on your skin. Um, and, you know, in terms of, you know, if you're just in an area where you can't even control the mosquito activity, um, wear long sleeves, wear pants, specifically pants and long socks. Mosquitoes, they don't really tend to fly higher than about six feet in the air because the wind will literally kill them. So usually they're gonna attack you where? A lot of times low, a lot of times near your wrist and down towards your ankles, you know, your areas that are lower on your body. Uh, when you think about your wrists and lower arms, for example, another area that tends to get bit a lot, they're down towards your knees a lot of the time. So wearing long sleeves or even some gloves, if, if it's like a horrible situation, um, that's not on here. That's more so to keep them off of you more than anything. But of course, using different kinds of repellents can help. Um, as well as, you know, in terms of keeping them out of your house, obviously just keeping the doors shut, uh, installing, you know, a lot of uh, customers of mine now are starting to hang up these screens that go on doors that uh, has like a magnetic strip that you can literally walk in and out of that screen. Uh, that's a good idea to get. And then of course, making sure all of your windows have uh, good screens and if any of them need replaced, get those replaced. Um, and then of course, just keeping them shut at the end of the day. Then you move into the mosquito traps and zappers. There's all types of zappers and all that type of stuff out here. Of course, one that I've seen a lot of my customers in Rowlett and Rockwall, Texas, specifically along the lake, Lake Ray Hubbard use, um, are the Spartan, I believe this is the right brand, um, the Spartan Mosquito Protec. 
Um, so they say you should use four tubes per acre. I notice a lot of my customers tend to use two per their yard. And if you know anything about DFW homes, a standard lot is, you know, I don't, I don't know, roughly five to 10,000, um, what square feet. So, you know, usually if you're going to get four, it'll usually last you a little bit of time. Usually you can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot, just like in a two pack for I think something like 25 bucks or something. But you know, if you're trying to keep them throughout like the whole summer or trying to just get a better deal per count, this is the best deal in terms of on Amazon. Right now they're 40 bucks. Um, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. It's just one thing that if you're looking for more of a DIY type of thing, you're not necessarily trying to spend money on mosquito control because mosquito control is something that has to be done every three weeks um, to maintain its effectiveness. And that can afford, of course, get pretty costly. If you're looking for some type of just DIY solution, um, these, from what I've heard from at least a handful of customers now over the last year or so specifically, I just started seeing these pop up. I don't know if it's a newer product or if they've been around for a while, but I've noticed them a lot the last um, summer or two. And the five or six customers that I've heard about it, they said that, you know, yeah, they, they tend to work pretty good. Some people will even use that on top of what we do as well. And they're like, I don't see a single thing in my yard. So um, overall, pretty good product. Um, like I said, I'm not affiliated with them or anything, but it may be something you all want to take a look at. And then, of course, going back to our article here. Um, Let's see, of course, you know, we have, like I was just talking about, we have our own mosquito control services. If you all want information on that, if you live in the DFW area and you want information on our mosquito control service, I'll put a link for that in the description box below, as well as a link to, like I said, our blog post and this article specifically. Um, you know, our mosquito services, they're usually on the low end around $65, 65 to $70 per treatment. Um, they can go as high as 125 to 140 dollars. It really just depends on you know how much stuff you have for us to spray at the end of the day, because of course time and chemical that's what's gonna you know make up the cost. Um, and you know what type of chemicals you want to use too. Some customers do prefer do prefer um, you know natural remedies, which kind of you know goes right into the uh, Q and A's here FAQs. Are there any natural mosquito repellents I can use? So this was talking about specifically, you know, if you're trying to, you know, kind of DIY, we do have um, natural options as well. One of the chemicals we do use from time to time is a completely natural. Um, it's just a bunch of essential oils and it tends to work pretty well. It doesn't work as good as, of course, you know, some of these that are made in the lab that can last for three, sometimes even four weeks. But we tend to notice at least a solid 10 to 17 day residual from that in terms of its overall effectiveness. So um, usually what we'll do is we'll set customers up on a bi-weekly uh, treatment schedule if they're going to try the natural options. But we do have that as well for those of you that are, you know, not wanting to have chemicals in your yard uh, for whatever reason. And then, of course, with FAQs, you know, what type of mosquitoes are most common? I've been in the industry forever, and I still can't pronounce a lot of these specifically, but these are, in fact, the most common I can confirm. Um, how can I prevent mosquitoes from breeding in my yard? Like we talked about, you know, keeping, uh, the main thing is keeping a lot of puddling and mo high moisture, uh, humid areas uh, to a minimum around your home. Um, we already talked about the natural mosquito. How does professional mosquito service work? So uh, what we do essentially is any areas that do have standing water, we also do have a granular that um, it's essentially an IGR is what they're called, which is an insect growth regulator. So what will happen is, is we'll spread some of that IGR inside of the water. And what it'll do is it'll prevent any mosquito larva from developing into, you know, mosquitoes. So that's one thing that we'll do. If we do see bird baths or anything are full of water, usually we'll go ahead and dump it. Usually the only areas where I'm having to put that IGR specifically are usually like a lot of these new build homes. They have the yards like on a hill essentially. So the two yards will meet up in the center and then you get some puddling if there's not like a French drain or anything installed. And that's another thing as well. If there is a French drain, sometimes we'll put some of that in there as well. And like I said, anywhere where we can't dump the water out is when we'll use that. And then also any um, 
any bushes and stuff. Like I said, the mosquitoes are going to be lower. Same thing with their breeding areas. They're going to be breeding primarily in bushes, sometimes even underneath like trampolines, all that type of stuff. So we'll be uh, spraying all that good stuff for you all as well. And um, yeah, just if there's anything that you all can do that would help just that much more, you know, of course, we'll give you those tips and pointers as well uh, along the way. And then how often should you schedule mosquito service? Uh, like we said, you know, it depends on a couple things, you know, how severe is it? Um, are we having a lot of moisture? Like just going, you, and any of you that have been in the Dallas, Texas area know that we, for whatever reason, tend to have these little monsoon seasons pop up where we have a chance of rain almost every day. Um, that can affect it. Um, and then of course, like we said, what type, if you're fine with our standard, you know, mosquito control service in terms of the chemical, you're not picky about the chemical types that we use, then we can stretch that out to about every three weeks, maybe even four, um, whenever, you know, it's drier during summer, might be able to get away with a monthly treatment for that. Usually for most people, we'll set them up on our tri-weekly every three week treatment. And like we said, if you want that natural, then we'll usually set it up on like a bi-weekly treatment plan. Is it possible to completely eliminate mosquitoes entirely? No. So you're not going to eliminate mosquitoes entirely, but you can significantly reduce their population by implementing everything that we discussed today. But of course, like I explained it to everybody, if you do everything right and then you have us come out and do a treatment, what you're essentially doing is, is you're not putting like a bulletproof shield over your home but you're at least kind of starting like a, a little miniature barrier. But of course, you know, say you have six foot fence, eight foot fence, whatever the case may be. Some people have no fences at all. Those are the ones that are gonna be in the worst shape. Any customers of mine that have usually eight foot fences, I notice they tend to have very good results, but of course it's still not bulletproof at the end of the day. You're gonna have mosquitoes come in from your neighbors, especially here in DFW where a lot of homes are being stacked up like right on top of each other. Um, and then of course, like we talked about all the weather factors that go into that is going <clears throat> to, you know, just naturally cause the chemical to break down a little quicker in some cases. So, you know, you're never going to completely eliminate them. What I always tell most customers is to expect anywhere between a 70 to 90% reduction in overall bites. I don't say activity, I say bites. Like I always kind of joke with everyone, I'm like it'll get to the point where you're actually more frustrated than you ever were with mosquitoes because you'll, you know, rarely get bit to the point that when you do get bit, it'll just be like, damn, like I'm not, I'm not used to getting bit like that anymore. So, um, like we said, you know, in conclusion, um, getting rid of mosquitoes in the DFW area may seem challenging, but with the right strategies and professional help from us, or if you're not in the DFW area, um, any other, you know, highly sought after pest control company in your area, it is possible. And by following the tips that we talked about today, you'll be well on your way to enjoying a mosquito free, relatively free outdoor space in no time. So hopefully you guys did learn some valuable information from this article today. Like I said, I'll link the article in the description box below. If you want to <clears throat> take a look at it and read it for yourself or share it with somebody, I definitely appreciate that. If you want to share this video with somebody who you think you know could benefit from this um, video or the article, I definitely appreciate that. And hit the thumbs up button too if you do uh, appreciate this content. I definitely want to get a feel for you know what type of content you know you guys are wanting. Um, or feel free to give it a thumbs down. Like I said, I'm just looking for any type of feedback to let us know, you know, if you guys like these videos, if these are informative for you all. Um, and then, like I said, we'll leave our contact, our contact info, of course, is right here. Uh, but I'll leave a link to our actual, you know, homepage of our website down below as well. That way, you know, if you all want to estimate or, you know, talk to me directly, I'm the one that answers the lines. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to give us a ring. And until next time, everybody, have a good mosquito-free season and good luck.